I mean, we've been talking about how cold it is all morning. I know. I can, I, I, there's a little different. We're being dramatic when we see there's actually <laughs> snow, snow somewhere else, Paul. <laughs> yeah, we talked 45, 50 degrees. Oh, it's so cold. Big Bear dropped to 19 degrees this morning. And here's something we didn't have on the bingo card. New York City being warmer than Southern California on Halloween. Their high tomorrow, 80 degrees. Our high tomorrow, about 71. But we'll be celebrating a World Series title, hopefully after tonight. Tonight's weather in New York City, 808 East Coast time. We're watching it at 5 o'clock here on the West Coast. Uh, no rain like we saw last night. Hopefully a different team wins as well. 63 degrees at first pitch. Another uh, mild to chilly evening uh, in New York City in the Bronx. LAX 61 degrees. We have filtered sunshine right now. We also have filtered sunshine over Santa Monica. What do I mean by that? Well, the clouds aren't thick enough to completely block out the sun. It's like putting a filter on the sunshine right now because of the thin cirrus cloud cover that's out there. Boy, is it chilly and it's going to be even cooler this weekend. Rain is likely on Saturday. I haven't said that since May of last year or May of this year. It's been about half a year. Saturday rain is likely high of 65 and those showers may linger until Sunday with a high of 67. We'll talk more about that rain chance coming up. Let's talk temperatures. Long Beach only 58 degrees. We are still super chilly in Santa Clarita. 46 good snow making weather overnight in Big Bear dropped to 19 or 18 degrees. You're still below freezing there. Temecula Laguna Beach only 50 Simi Valley 55 and Pasadena 53 still brisk outside Inland Empire. Those clouds are going to thicken. Uh, filtered sunshine uh, when put through our computer sometimes spits out cloudy. Uh, you'll have filtered sunshine throughout the morning, but not that warm. 70 degrees at one o'clock. Uh, two things to point out on this map. One, the storm tracks now to our south. That's kind of opened the door for this cold air to literally spill out of the Pacific Northwest and into central and southern California. That's why you needed a jacket this morning or the kids did on their way to school. Secondly, it also opens the door for storms to take more of a southerly track down toward us. There is a question with the storm this far away. Just a tiny turn now would make a huge difference on where it lands close to here. A storm track over the water to our west along the coastline would potentially give us some moderate rainfall. We can get a quarter of an inch of rain or more if it tracks to our west. If it tracks to our east, which is now looking more likely, that would be inland drier. Some showers, some light rain, but nonetheless, still some rainfall. Either way, this weekend is going to be chilly, cloudy, unsettled with a good chance of rain. Inland Empire, you're first here. Next weather extended forecast, 72, a pretty popular temperature today, tomorrow, Friday. That, of course, includes Halloween. First weekend of November, unsettled, mid-60s, chance of rain. For our valleys, mid-70s tomorrow for Halloween. Saturday 68, Sunday 71, some rain is likely. Rain is likely for the metro area as well, including Los Angeles. 70s become 60s with a decent chance of Saturday rainfall. Back to you guys. Saturday rainfall. Yeah, yeah. finally, I guess. I guess we'll take some rain. <laughs> we have to.